Call numbers are like addresses for a library. By knowing how to read and use them, you can quickly locate desired items on the shelves. You may be only familiar with call numbers designed by Melville Dewey. The Dewey Decimal System is used in most public and school libraries. However, in larger public libraries, colleges, and universities, the Library of Congress or LC classification system is used. LC organizes items utilizing letters and numbers. Similar subjects are grouped together with letters representing the broad disciplines. The Suffolk County Community College Library uses this system for organizing most of its resources. To find a call number, use the library catalog. When using the catalog, call numbers are listed with the title of the item on the results page. Here is an item with its listed call number. Always make sure to identify what campus library or libraries own the item before looking for it. If the item is located at a different campus, you will need to either go to that campus or request the item be delivered to your campus library. You need to also make sure that the item is available and has not been checked out. Click on Is it here? to do this. Okay, let's find this book. First, we'll write down the call number. When writing down a call number, all the letters and numbers are necessary. Each part, indicated here by a different color, is important in finding the item. This looks confusing, but it'll make sense after trying it. Use the first letter to find the general area of the book, locating those shelves that start with B. Each campus library has different locations for its shelves, so become familiar with where the collections are kept in your library. Once we get to the shelves that begin with B, we will search for the call numbers beginning with BP. These will be listed alphabetically after those call numbers that begin with B, BC, BD, and so forth. We made it to the section that starts with BP. Now we need to use more of the call number. Starting with BP1, we will work numerically until we reach those books starting with BP173. Okay, we found the shelf that has books with BP173. It's now time to use even more of the call number looking for books with point B. Being in alphabetical order, these should come after those BP173 books that have a point A. Here's the first book with point B, however it's still not the one we want. Going in numerical order, we'll look for point B9, which should be after point B7. Unfortunately, the search is not over since there are two books that have this similar call number. It's time to use the last part. We need to find E48 using both alphabetical and numerical order. We found the book. We might have also had to use the date if there are multiple volumes with the same call number. It seems like a lot of work just to find a book, but once you get the hang of this classification system, you will be able to find items quickly. The LC system is particularly good at grouping items by subject, so if you like to browse, write down one or two call numbers. When you locate the item, look at the other works around it. You'll notice that they're on similar topics and themes, and you can browse for additional ones. Remember to always ask at the reference desk or circulation counter if you're having trouble finding an item. It may be missing or misshelved.